common question we get is how to correctly capture a winglet using a CCS file in Flightstream. In today's video, I'll show you how to do that. Here we have an STL unstructured mesh generated in a separate software. I'm going to want to create cross sections to correctly capture the shape of the wing, including the winglet. First, I'll split out the faces composing the root of the wing into a separate surface. This will make it easier to generate auto cross section curves later. In the front view, I can easily select these faces using the box selection tool. Select and split them into a new surface. Now I'll create coordinate systems at strategic locations along the wing that will help me create cross sections later. The first one will be at the root of the dihedral just outside the wing root. The second node will be the origin of the coordinate system. The second node will comprise a line that defines the x-axis. And the third node will define the y-axis of the new coordinate system. Selecting the nodes in this manner will ensure that my new coordinate system has a perpendicular plane to the wing. I'll create a new coordinate system, and then the second button will define that new coordinate system using the three nodes. I'll also rename the coordinate system to make it easier to manage. Now I'll create a similar new coordinate system just before the blend of the winglet. Again, selecting the origin node first, a node defining the x-axis, and a node defining the y-axis. And I'll create and define the new coordinate system like before. Now I'll create a new coordinate system right at the blend of the winglet. Depending on how your winglet is defined, you may or may not need this. I won't need a coordinate system to capture the last cross section on the winglet since I'll use the existing mesh edges to define the cross section curve here. Now in the CAD window, I'll open up a new CAD create window and set up auto cross section curves to generate curves along the root of this wing with a growth rate of 1.8. This will push more curves towards the root and the tip of this section. Now use this tool to create cross sections at the previously created coordinate systems. The first coordinate system, I'll use a cross section plane of xz and I'll set the cross section offset location to zero and you can see the newly created curve at that location. We'll repeat this process for the outboard coordinate system. And I'll create one more cross section to capture the blend in the winglet. Now I'm going to select all the edges of the airfoil at the winglet tip. I'll select an edge and use the Edges by Path tool to select them all. And then use this fourth button to import the selected mesh edges as a single composite drawing curve. Now select the drawing curves from root to tip. It's important to follow this direction in order to be able to find control surfaces in the future. At this point, I could choose to export the cross sections into a CCS file. However, in the new Flightstream version 2024.1, there is a new tool under Services which allows me to create a CCS mesh right in the GUI window. After selecting the curves, I can open this tool to set the parameters of my CCS mesh. Here I'll set 80 subdivisions in the chordwise direction and I'll increase the amount of subdivisions in the spanwise direction so that I can correctly capture the curvature of my winglet. Since these are closed cross sections, the only available option will be sharp for the trailing edge. Now if I click create, a new mesh is made in the mesh window. If I hide the previous surfaces, I can see the fidelity of the new CCS mesh. If you're unhappy with the resolution, you can always choose to add more cross sections 
or add more subdivisions in the spanwise direction. If you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials, feel free to leave a comment on this video, or you can also contact us directly at researchinflight.com.